Loading plastic material on the Mark Forge Industrial Series printers. You will need a pair of wire cutters, a scale accurate to one gram, tweezers, a new spool or used partial spool of material. If loading a partial spool of material, weigh it and take note of the weight in grams. When you input this value later, the printer will automatically subtract the weight of the spool to obtain the weight of the material itself. Open the cabinet and dry box and verify material in the printer is unloaded. Next, if using a new spool of material, replace the desk skin packs with the two new packs that come packaged with the material. Place the plastic filament spool on the spindle and attach the spindle cap such that the magnets connect. Note, the plastic spool is wound under tension. Always hold the plastic against the spool to prevent unwinding during loading. Using wire cutters, cut the end of the filament at a 45 degree angle such that it can easily unspool to feed into the tube. Place spool and spindle in the dry box such that the filament exits from the top of the spool. Insert the end of the filament into the dry box adapter and feed it all the way through the plastic feed tube until it extends out the other end. Close the dry box cover and press the latches closed until they click twice each then close the cabinet doors. On the printer's user interface, select the menu icon from the dashboard. Select the material style from the menu options. Select the load plastic tile to begin the load plastic routine. Select meter load on the printer's touchscreen. Select the type of plastic that you are loading into your printer. Select the type of spool that you are loading. Only select full spool if you are loading a new standard 800cc spool of material. Full spools will not require a weight input. For any other option, select the partial spool. Input the weight of the spool on your printer's touchscreen and press Done. Press Next on the printer's touchscreen. Wait for the print head to heat up and press the Next button on the screen. Feed the material from the plastic feed tube into the plastic extruder and insert the feed tube into the extruder's push to connect fitting. Wait for the plastic filament to move through the plastic Bowden tube. Once the material begins extruding from the nozzle, press Stop. Note that the plastic extruder will start to click as material is extruded from the nozzle. This is a normal and expected behavior for the material loading process. Use tweezers to remove any extruded material that gathers on the nozzle. Press Done to exit the utility or press Retry to continue extruding material. One more thing to take note of, back on the low plastic screen, you have the option to quick load. This option is not recommended as it will not track or display the remaining material on the spool nor alert you when low on material.